Good afternoon, you're watching Filter Kapi. Tragic news coming in from Gadchiroli in Maharashtra, very close to the Chhattisgarh border, where 15 policemen belonging to the C60 quick response team of the Gadchiroli police and their driver were killed in an improvised explosive device IED blast. Now, the team was on its way to inspect 25 vehicles that had been torched by Maoists in the early hours of Wednesday at a road construction site, and the blast took place near Gadchiroli's Jambumpada village. Now the question is whether these 15 police commandos actually walked into a trap set by the Maoists and it would seem so and I'll explain why. Now it was a mistake to go immediately after a Maoist offence has taken place and I say this from the experience of having covered Naxalism for a good one and a half decades in United Andhra Pradesh in areas of Telangana and also in the Andhra Orissa border region. The police should never venture after the Maoists have struck because there are IEDs, there are booby traps to ensure more fatalities and that's precisely what seems to have happened in this case in Gachiroli. Two, the police here seem to have made the mistake of looking at the black top road and thinking that it is safe. As you can see in those pictures, the road is white and black topped. In Andhra Pradesh, and I can tell you, the policemen never went on the premise that every road is safe. They actually proceeded on the premise that every road, kacha or pakka, can actually be mined by the Naxals. Now, there has also been some criticism over whether a road opening party was sent, and this essentially arises uh, because of ignorance of how the hierarchy uh, actually works. Now, road opening party, especially in the Naxal affected regions of Chhattisgarh or Orissa or um, areas like Gachiroli in Maharashtra, road opening parties are never sent when a C60 team is being sent. It's done only when a VIP visit is taking place. Moreover, for those who are not familiar with this part of the Red Corridor, the Naxal territory, now this part of Gachiroli falls right in the middle of Dandakaranya. So, in a sense, it is impossible to dominate all roads in, in this region of Dandakaranya where the Naxal Red, the Mao Street, really runs large. And even when you see a road, when a road has been laid in the middle of Naxal territory, does not mean that the state has been able to make headway into that part of the Red Corridor. Now, the uh, Maoist attack must have been the job of the Dandakarana Special Zone Committee. This is what policemen familiar with that part of the Maoist Corridor tell us. And in terms of numbers, certainly it's a huge hit and it's a reminder that the Maoists still exist and they control uh, a large part of the central region of India, Chhattisgarh and parts of Maharashtra. And no amount of police deployment in this patch of India has been able to finish off the Maoist threat to the state of India.